everybody, this is pre-recorded, so it's going to come out tomorrow. So if all goes well, you're going to see this tomorrow. Probably in the morning or afternoon. It's time to read more Home Slice. Because, yeah. So, okay. We know this is... This is someone's very special day. Don't get stressed. Walking over, walking over to your wardrobe with the intent of changing into something a little bit formal. You find a letter on your wardrobe from your roommate Terezi. I mean, y'all, y'all dating, but okay. I. Okay, okay, Terezi's voice. I'm just letting you know I will be gone for possibly several days since me and I are watching, are going to be watching movies together. And knowing me, I'm probably going to pass out into the first three movies. So, so you could call this a sleepover. Anyway, since I can't be there, I'm going to wish you... Heavy Wiggling Day, or, or for Happy Birthday for <laughs> to oh wait, to you. It's to it's you humans call weirdos. So Happy Birthday, J Happy Birthday, John. I'm going to knock. I'm going to take you out to knock over trash cans for your birthday when I get back. So don't go, don't go without me. Ah, Terezi. Ah, just sleep. Can I and just Terezi, they're knocked out. See, this is what I like, man. I just like seeing these characters happy, man. After everything they went through. I'm telling you, this is like the best constellation. I gotta be real with you. I would have done take I would have done like take back canon but they're not done yet so I'm just gonna read home slice to a point to where we are to where they're at in the story so we're gonna just go there John get get your present you almost forgot for fading the rush the hustle of a rush you grab your present neatly pack neatly package gift you prepared for Jane. You scurry out the door. John's like trying to make a rush out of there. Oh and Jane. Jane's just Jane's just being nice and nice and shit. And you're like and I know some people are gonna be like, Bugsy, but she's supposed to be evil. And I say, we only got one, we got one timeline, we got two timelines where that's a thing. Can I just have this one timeline where everything is cool and nice and they're just, they're just living their lives? Because trust me, I ain't funk, I'm not gonna pretend, I'm not gonna pretend like her being evil made any goddamn sense. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Well, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna make flint. I'm not gonna make flimsy fucking arguments to prove that Jane should be evil because blah, 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 blah. Because X and Y is a thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, salutations, everyone. I'm. I am just delighted you. You could all make it. I couldn't da I couldn't dare miss this miss this event. Why why would I why be up at the neck why would I be up to my neck and cake better even at even at the thought of it? We're delighted to be here, Jane. Oh my god, it just feels so nice. <laughs> They're all just they're all just saying for Jane's birthday and like it just feels nice, man. <laughs> oh man, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know some of you guys are like, Bugsy, why are you why are you just why are you gushing over this? 
Because Homestuck 2 was just so... Homestuck 2 Beyond Cannon, like, wrecked me in a way. That is the whole reason why I'm making all stuck to begin with. As a way of just kind of saying, you know... You, you know, as you know, as Homestuck fans have probably made better sequels than you guys, right? Because they actually asked people and, like, wanted to do something that was... See, like I said, with Take Back, like I said, with uh, Beyond, Take Back Cannon, they ask people. You know, these guys who make it, these people, the Home Slice team probably wanted to be like, no, let's just try something a little different. Instead of having them have a villain to fight or, or anything, let's just have them live their lives. See where that goes. Please, 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 have a seat. Make yourself at home. I think... We have every, we have just, we have just about everyone now. Except, of course, the Bell of the Ball himself. Not a problem. Let me see who's here. One, two, three. Okay, hold up. Well, oh, why speak of the devil? <laughs> why, uh, James starting to sound like, sound like Jake. Speak of the devil, I pondered the boundless possibilities of who could be at the door. Hmm. Hmm. I think it might be the birthday boy. And some people, some weird, I've seen some weirdos actually like put, put freaking John and Jane together and I just think that's fucking. I just want to say, I don't think anybody's shit was wrong, but I think it's just like really it makes like I seen a I seen a like a comic of where J where like Jade and John are a thing, and it just it made me real uncomfortable. <laughs> like I was gonna do a video on it, but it it made me super uncomfortable. <laughs> like I I didn't know how to feel when I was reading that actually. That was gonna be like a video last year, but I was like, no. What was it called? It was like 20, 100 days, something like that. Where it's just like, you know, J John and Jane getting, to, you know, getting to where they are, getting to where everybody is in the media. Just kind of, that's where it was going. And uh, I just, I didn't like it. But, you know, stuff like this, I like. <sighs> okay. God, sorry I'm late. I had to run, as, as you can see. It seems that the... It seems... The hair... The air... The air... The air has lost its breath. Very clever. I know. I like what you've done with the place. All birthday. Articulate. Articulate as always. Articulate as always, John. Thank you. I enjoy decorating. Who knows? I might call this my true calling all along. Oh, if it was only true in the thing that people call kind of canon. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I am going to probably reference Homesick 2, and I should not. I try to get it out of my hand, but every time I think about this and how good it is, I have to compare it to the miserable the miserable sequel of what Homestuck is. Even though I know there's a lot of possible universes and ways this story could play out, because that's just how Homestuck is set up. It's just, I just can't stop thinking about Homestuck 2 when I look at when I look at my favorite characters, it's like it, it's like it's a mark on my head. I just can't not think about it. If that makes sense. And I try to call attention to it, it just kind of comes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Cake decorating is a thing, right? 
Oh, wait, wait. Cake decorating is a thing, right? Oh, I have for... Oh, how I have forgotten. Nor my previous statement. I know my calling. <laughs> All right, then. You excited? Is that even a question? Another birthday I get to spend with my lovely Ecto son and his friends. Okay, see, and I like that. They don't even they don't even make it weird or anything because like Homesuck Two made it so weird. Because they would call, because let's just say if y'all know about ectobiology and knowing that these characters are kind of related to each other, you would know what I know. And the way the Homesuck Two kind of went about it. Like, hey, we're we're all related. This is awkward, and I'm just like, oh no, shit. Did anybody read? I'm like, I was looking at Homes Beyond Canada. I was like, did anybody freaking read the read the thing? Okay, we know, we know. It's not it, like for some of us who've been rereading the goddamn thing, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> what well, has been long? But you get, you get my point. But when they did this, they're just like, there's no weirdness, no awkwardness here. It's just characters it's just characters hanging out doing what they're doing and I just say yeah man I wish someone could redo Nightfall because like it kind of had one of my favorite ships in there and I was like oh. and it sucks that it's like not continuing I liked it you can call me a John and you can call me a John and Friska shipper that's what I am that's what I am god damn it also, I'm a Terezi and John shipper. Don't know why I like having the troll girls ship with John. Just it, it kind of, I don't know. It's kind of a thing. It's going to be a blast. Not even thinking about existential dread adding another year to, to, to your life. An, an inconfiable number. You need to stop hanging around. You need to stop hanging around Rose so much. Uh, or are you just intimidated using my big boy words? Are you sure those are even big boy words? I mean, yeah, yes, Jane. I know what they mean. I, I'm not five. Existential dread means dread right now. Uh, close enough, I suppose. Close enough, that was the right definition. If you say so, who, who, who? Yeah. Yeah, I did the laugh. I don't care. <laughs> usually, I didn't, usually, if, like, if my girlfriend was still up, I, yeah, she'd probably do it. But, but I will do it because I, I love these characters. I know I'm not doing her, doing what I imagine her voice would sound like. Here, here you are, everyone. A slice of cake. I prepare for the party for each of you. Enjoy. Oh, uh, we got we got Casey slash Vice Roy. <clears throat> Whoa! Suddenly, a little salamander. Everyone keeps ignoring. Your name is Casey, or in some households, Roy, Viceroy Bubbles Vaughn Salamander. Today, one of your parents said it's ecological mother's birthday. So you made them a little card, but you have to wait a few more pages until, the, until you can give it to them. You are, you are ex too excited to show them your homemade gifts, so you decide... To just go around and bother everyone with your presence once again. Oh, well, it doesn't bother me, man. And I like these little, I like these little segments right here. When characters are freaking just hanging out. They're talking. I like these little segments. Even though I feel like uh, Casey's being a little nosy here. But, you know, I will allow it. Hello, hello, Roxy. 
it feels it's been too long since we t- sat down and talked. And since we properly talked. I am I, I'm going to this Marina voice. I can only I can only do so many voices. And I want to do I want to do Ramsey's voice because it's too if I if I tried to do it it'd be too embarrassing. So I'm going to do it in my regular voice. Yeah, I have toots. Toots got got that right. We've both been been like uber busy. I've been dying for a break. Incredibly so. Anyways, it feels like. Anyways, how's it feel to make a cake outside of your work again? Oh, wondrous! Especially since. I'm the one who gets to eat it after. Hoo hoo hoo! Yes, I'm still doing it. There's no stopping that laugh. It is infectious. Well, it's a laugh I actually enjoy. When you hear it. There's, a, there's one other laugh of a certain female character does in Rama, which makes me run for the hills. We'll get, we'll get into that when we get into when I do more Ramna stuff. Oh my god, so true. I wish I could eat. Could eat. <laughs> okay, hold on. I wish I could eat a fucking cake for my job. Hold on, everybody. I need to check something for a moment. Because I had something in my, like, I had some, like, stuff in my, some stuff, like, out of the corner of my eye, and it just, it felt really gross. Like, you got, like, like, I had something, like, that. Like, you know, when you're, like, when you, like, get some, when you're asleep and you fit, and you, and you wake up and you feel like there's, like, an eye booger, that's what I was feeling, I think that's what I was feeling. Sorry for the graphic detail, but, like, ugh. That felt weird. I wish I could f- just fucking eat a cake for my job. Actually, now, actually, now that I think about it, it probably. Think about it. It's. People will probably watch that. I know. I know. I would. What are you calling again? Gosh, and gosh, and he always had a loop, but. Anyways, it's not important right now. That cake you made. Ten whole smackaroos. You're gonna fat me up like that granny from from that one story, yes. Or something. Thank you. Thank you very much, Roxy. It's chocolate, John's favorite. Doesn't John not like cake? Mm, it may not be his food of choice, no. But it can grow on him. He didn't eat a slice of his. Semantics. Oh, wait. Lama. Lama. Yeah, but yeah. Happy birthday, Janie. Thank you. Word. Keep on living. Word. Cheers to living. Cheers. 
All right, looks like we got these two. Hope it doesn't get weirder and comfortable for me knowing that I read that one comic. We're gonna just, I'm gonna pretend like it don't exist. Hi, hi John, how's your birthday so far? It's going all right. I, I'm excited to get my presents and stuff. Oh, you're gonna be really happy with the present that we got you. Now, now I can't wait to open it. I know I'm not supposed to ask, but I, I might know what my presents are. Hey, you can't ask, you can't ask that, it's against the rules. Worth a shot at least. I might, I might get Casey to smile what you guys got me. Oh, that's also against the rules, John. That would ruin the fun. But I wonder what she, I wonder what she would, what she'd be thinking. That's an interesting topic. She is even more capable of complex thought as us humans are. Well, and she's a salamander, isn't she? And I doubt she can think of complex thoughts as ours. Why well, you give me a surprise at the antics she pulls off? Are not to be underestimated, that's for sure. So you mean she's a prankster? Not really, but she dabbles in the dark arts occasionally. Oh, that's definitely from Rose, isn't it? You bet. Don't don't ask me what I'm doing. Jade's Jade's voice is fucking. It's just fucking happening. It's fucking happening. Let's y'all just let it happen. <laughs> She's probably got those dark dark arts for me though. So she maybe she maybe is a prankster. I hope that isn't a bad thing. It isn't, it just means another yet we have a yet another handful to deal with. And of course I mean lovingly. Really coming through right throat here. Oh come on, I'm just joking. I'm just joking around. Oh I know, I know, I'm joking too. But still, when do I get over the presents? Jane is gonna let us know when it's time to open the presents. So it's probably really, really soon. Like, get a couple of minutes. Just be patient. Yet, that's going to be a daunting task. It's only a few minutes. Oh, whatever. Despite your suggested mischievous escapades, happy birthday, John. Thanks, Jade. Of course. I like the little, I like the little picture of them just thinking. Yeah, yo, it's gonna be Dirk and Dirk and Dave talking. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's been a fuck. It's been a fucking while since I've done Dave's voice. So give me a minute. Let me, uh, let me, let me just get, let me just get to the fucking ironic point here while I try to. Make his voice sound normal. All right, let's let's do this. Let's do this shit. Like, like a clown addicted to Fago. <laughs> okay, hear me out. We're all God and shit. So the point of food is relatively out of the window. Seriously, demonstrated to hell. The volume. The value of food is literally thrown out the window like a baby bird. Just, hey, you just broke a window out, out of your baby bird prison. It, cool. Cool, now we get fucked. We fucked off this branch. Now we're surely gonna die of starvation like, like we're magic and shit. I don't age, but I guess humans function eating there still. At this point, it's like just a bad habit. We can't legit drop dead from eating like hot Cheetos. Like hot Cheetos, but hot Cheetos, would that be a heroic death, you think? 
Okay, now it's time to do my Jake voice. Hold up, hold up, hold up, old chap. It's, give me a minute. It's been a, it's been a while since I've done Jake's in a while. So give me, give me a few. Haven't you heard? Haven't you heard the story of our little old tummies? T uh, <laughs> our little old tummies are tiny worlds. We balance the. We want to die to keep that world in tip-top shape. Because it helps the power of our bodies. Watch for little swimmers that float, a, that float on green flora in healthy meats and fauna. <clears throat> the fact that you say little swimmers makes me so uncomfortable. However, I will... Preserve, I will preserve, I will pers, I will proceed, <laughs> I'll preserve, pers, nah, it's, <laughs> I fucking can't say that word right now, and I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna say it, like, later, I'm gonna be like, fuck, that's the word I meant to say. But what you're telling me, Jake English, is that we're not, we're not humans. We're just walking to ter terrariums. Shit, I consumed so many watermelon seeds in my lifetime. At this point, I'm fostering a whole damn watermelon patch. Like those cabbage patch bitches. It's just watermelons and and it's just watermelons and no creepy dolls. Me and Dave have a lot in common. We both don't like that. <laughs> we both don't like fucking dolls. <laughs> For reasons. But if you're saying about our tum tums are basically like gardens and nature and some shit, seriously, florist type. Serious florist type beat. Should we all consider our career paths? Maybe we should. Maybe we should. I care for the fishes in my food. Sa and sa savor and you can become a florist and take care of your tummy fish. Uh. <laughs> okay, just having, just having Jake just talk about like tummy fish and and freaking your stomach being like a garden is kind of funny. Ah, oh, can't do Rose and Dirk, so this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because it's hard to do. It's hard to do Dirk's voice, technically. So give me a minute. And no, this is not like a story thing, so I'm not gonna have like Dirk bust out and be like, "Oh, I'm here, father of mine." Wait. A minute. Father of mine, daughter of mine, you could say it's it's always it's always a treat to see Jane enjoying her birthday, considering the unfortunate the unfortunate past events. Nice to know, nice to know you don't damn her ability to indulge in the occasion. Yeah, yeah. Additional, additional friends to help mask the ta mask the tang of sour taste too. That being, that being sharing the birthday with John probably is a lot more easier to swallow. Of course, speaking of additional friends, isn't it a little strange for you to be around all these people? It'd be pretty damn pathetic if there were no change out through all the years. What kind of, what kind of stick in my ass would I be so unwilling to soften myself up amongst the group? Yeah, home suck too. Yeah, home suck too. How about that? How about, how about that? Okay, I'm getting off topic. Sorry. Sorry. You know, it just, 
<laughs> it's like it was goading me right there. It's like it was fucking goading me. Sorry. I was like, they left a big ass, like, a big ass, like, handprint in the back of my head. Let's just, let's just keep it. Let's just say that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. No shame in cutting yourself some slack. I, for one, would find it near a measurable amount of self of improvement still worthy of more than just a snide jab at your own pathetic nature. Would you give yourself some leeway? Yes, I'm not illogical. I'm giving myself credit where credit is due. As someone that likes to think of himself as a logician, a logician? Is that a thing? Well, I do frequently search. I, you do frequently find yourself searching for holes to use, use as a, mechan, a mechanism for self-deprecation. Oh, no, no, no. We're not doing this today. We already have it. It's done. Rose five, Rose five, Dirk zero. There's no way I have zero points. You can only ever recite to me what I already, what I'm already knowledgeable of. The ineffective of analyzing the psychological warrant. Dirk zero. Psychological variety. Dirk zero. <laughs> this was this I man just these little conversations guys I swear makes me just uh, want to flip off home step two like if it was an actual person I'd flip it off oh goodness it nearly slipped my mind how silly of me it's time to open presents you cannot believe. You had to wait even longer to give some attention for once. You gotta wait for the others to give their presents to John and Jane before you can even dream of a chance. And people say, and people say, happy, happy birthday, man. Yeah, hun. Here's to the, here's to the lovely birthday, lass. Shucks. Thank you all. Now we now I don't want to I don't want to be too self grandizing. Self grandizing. But I want you I want you to think that you'll find this present particularly entertaining. Knowing your history with gifts, I'm not sure if I should be scared or excited. It's okay if you need to cry. I know how frightening this can be. Oh, hush. Straight from the lawn, English guide to... <laughs> uh, read her description. What? What are you... Jake? Jake? Dirk? Riley, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys fucking doing? Okay. Okay. This is a cookbook. Not just, not just any, not just any cookbook, oh, dear old friend. Just a teensy weensy bit more grand. Strider English Lalonde Guide to Cooking. Read a description on the vines. Oh, now what on earth? Okay, don't don't get too overzealous with flipping the pages there. Save some reading for the, save your reading experience to be a surprise. Oh gosh, how incredible, you all wrote this. The, the three on, three, the three and only. Wow, that's just astounding, are these all real recipes? If you mean real as an edible, then sure. I can live with low food poisoning if it means Making food from this book, an admirable and okay, an admirable accomplishment to your craft. I, I hope that your, 
that you don't get a case of the stomach bugs from anything here. My... Commitment? But what about yours? You're... You look like a real professional with... And getting your cookbook off the shelf of your stores, I'm floored. Thank you so much for this gift. I promise I'll read every page. Oh, God, Jane, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't think anything they have in that book is edible, but hey. It is what it is. I suppose. Happy birthday, John. Congratulations, you made it another year. But legit, dude, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday again. Thank you, guys. Alright, so this is the present for the three of us. I hope we think you'll like it. So here. Sun tells me it has some. They put the bunnies in the box. 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 Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Uh, I don't know what to say. Just... It's certainly adorable. Is this like, is this me? That would be correct. Oh my god. Okay, that's you, that's Dan, that's Jade. We even have little outfits. Holy shit. Fuck, I didn't... It, this is gonna make me score so hard, I'll reduce... I'll reduce to a singularity. These are so cute. A chair seems forever. Thank you so much, guys. Damn it. It was most. It was mostly Rose. Unless somehow you can make yourself believe that I. I'm a secret, magic seamstress, or some real French Revolution. Wee oui, wee. Oui, let me sew. Let me sew y'all bunny. That looks like your friends. <laughs> looks like your friends. But really, dude, Rose worked her ass off on this, like, you squeeze these bitches under her elbow grease. It would secrete something. I don't actually know how that would fix, how this figure of speech works. How that figure of speech works. But hopefully, it's not actual elbow grease, because not even... Not even shit, not even, not even shit nasty, just regular nasty. It's more like the sake of principle. It's from the three of us. Rose's, it's really Rose's gift. That's a, that's a blatant lie. Both you and Jade assisted in the conceptual process. Neither you, neither you can help sewing. Something that you're not capable of. Yeah, Dave, don't go erasing my ideas. Just saying, Jade, everyone everyone credits the inventor <laughs> that's that that those who slave under capitalist schemes or whatever. So yeah, Rose worked really hard on this. I had to listen to me bitching like I had to listen to her bitching and was like Butler Dave for a few days getting her tea or whatever. Don't even know if that was like being a butler or so or a supportive helpful brother. Respect the man behind the curtain. This man being Rose. We wouldn't expect no nothing less. Thank you for your consideration, Dave as well as your assistance on this arduous process. It was an honor and, pri and a privilege. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways. Anyways. All of you. This is an incredible gift. 
Of course, of course, John. Yeah, don't sweat it. It was our pleasure. And we're done. Your variations get wearing fin. Run for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at Casey. Ha happy birthday. I love you, Dad and and Jane. Casey. Oh, oh God. God damn, that's cute. Oh, just Jesus, that cute, the cuteness, the cuteness kills, man. The cuteness kills. Oh, oh, Casey, oh, Casey. What, um, what a polite, what a polite friend. Thank you, Casey. Did you make this yourself? This is a door. <laughs> I can't, Im like, guys. Casey's like, Casey in terms of Salamander is probably like five or something. Pretty much like a kid. It just, that's why it's so adorable and cute. And, you know, that's, you know, this guy likes a little bit of cute things. If you don't know, if you don't know, if you don't know, that's basically, if you didn't know that by now, dudes, I played Sonic Adventure I was playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on a Dolphin Emulator just to raise some chows, dude. If it's not just me loving cute... Because if you don't know, I like cute things. And gory things and a whole bunch of other shit. <laughs> well, that was a rat. <laughs> that was like, okay. <clears throat> what the fuck was that? Hoo hoo. You should see the look on your face. Prices. Bah, what? What was it? What was that? A red plushie. A red plushie, you silly goose. Are you serious? Ugh. Stupid. It's not even scary. Tell that to yourself. Hmm. Fucking whatever. Here's your gift. Prankster's Gambit, my friends, at its best. <laughs> mm. Oh no, I think I should make I think I should make this a segment on my channel as Times in Paradox Space. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't believe you fell for that. A pie? You're kidding. Read it and weep, sister, or just can't. Or can I just, uh. I'm not gonna let you eat the pie from my face. Uh. Given that Teenage Me had a little bit of crush on Jane, you know, uh. Uh. Just. Guys, if I ever start streaming Tamodachi Life, just, just don't worry about why I made, uh, why, why I made, like, Jane and, you know, why I made Jane into a thing and why she's kind of with another one of the Bugsies that actually kind of looks like me a little bit. Don't want me, you know, just don't, don't worry about that, man. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, let me read, let me read that last part. Damn, call it you call it even for scaring. This is no way in a puzzle. You frightened me and made a mess. You can get me back at me later. Admittedly, admittedly this is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jane. And happy birthday to you too, John. See, now this is what I want. 
This is why I wanted as a sequel. Sometimes we don't need a boss. We don't need like this big scary boss for them to fight. Hey, you two getting haunts and, haunts and stuff with Atis? Huh, well, come here, come here, you two. And another commercial break. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna like uh, pause that. This is Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, what else? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, if it ain't, well, if it ain't jet, if it ain't, if it ain't spit, if it ain't slick and and miss paint. Well, I think I'm gonna just end it off here. Um, I think I'm just gonna end it off here for now. I hope this was, I hope this was enjoyable for you guys, because honestly, I love reading Home Slice. <laughs> To be real with you. And yeah, I did skip a lot of stuff at the beginning, but I wanted to just read a little bit more because like, dudes, if you're a Homestuck fan and you are like literally, t if you are literally tired of like, of like Beyond Canon, read this. Also read Take Back Canon because it's fuck, it's fucking phenomenal too. Like support these guys. I am not kidding. It is so they're 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 both uniquely different stories, and I really love Home Slice. It is like, it's like, it's like lemonade off. It's like lemonade on a hot summer. It's like lemonade on a hot day. Savory, delicious, and you just feel good after you just drank it after being in the sun for like a few, after being in the sun for like twenty minutes. That's how it feels. That's what it feels like to read Home Slice. Well, next time in Tales of Tales of Paradox Space, we will be reading some other stuff. But I'm not gonna tell yet. It's a surprise. And no, we are not reading. We're not reading heinous stuff because legit, I'm saving that for I'm saving that for next Halloween after I, uh, you know, after I scare myself and everyone else. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna put a pin on that until next year. But I do have something in store than involving Card Cat, so I'll see you guys later. And you know, and you know, if you were planning to see me and Dirk have a, another fight before Alt Stuck, you would be crazy. And also, it's not like we both have our swords to our necks. Don't don't worry about it, folks. Don't worry about what's going on right now. You, this is the video. It's over. And just don't worry about me, all right? Good. Good.